Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class, guys. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another class of CCNA routing and switching. And in this class, I am going to guide you about how we can configure VLAN. We will also discuss about the concept, what is VLAN, and uh, the importance of VLAN, and in the real environment, how we can utilize the VLAN services, right? So let me move ourselves to the screen and give you the proper information about VLAN, like the concept of VLAN, and also we'll discuss about the commands. Those commands can help us to like create VLAN in our Cisco switch. So let me move ourselves to the screen. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So let me move ourselves to the screen. I hope you guys are able to see my screen and let's talk about the concept first means what is VLAN and uh, after that we'll also discuss about the concept of uh, the, the, the commands that require to create our VLAN. So what I did I have already created one diagram like with the help of this particular dry diagram try to understand about the use cases of our VLAN. So, for example, you establish one manageable Cisco switch with 24 ports and you want to utilize these ports uh, for, for two different departments. Like one is HR department and another, another is sales department. Unfortunately, we have only single physical switch and you don't want to authorize or you don't want to provide the authority to HR department based uh, uh, like as a employees to communicate to, with the sales employees right you don't want to make communication between hr and sales department to segregate the network yes vlan come into the picture virtual local area network this is the full form of our vlan and vlan is the type of protocol that help us to segregate our physical switch our physical port of our switch to multiple parts right so let me move ourselves to the like as a cisco packet tracer so i'm going to give you the complete commands that require to uh, configure VLAN. So what I'm going to do, like as a real scenario, I'm going to create a one structure and by using the structure, we'll try to implement all the services. You know that recently uh, uh, Cisco did lots of changes. So it's mandatory to use Cisco Packet Tracer. You must need to log in your account, Cisco Packet uh, Tracer account, and then it will authorize you to make any changes or utilize the uh, like as the simulator of our uh, uh, Cisco packet tracer. So we have already discussed this is the page where we can select the type of switch. So I'm just going to add one switch. The switch model is 2960. It's a type of L2 switch. And with the, uh, this L2 switch, I'm going to add few of computers. Like you can say that personal computer, it may be laptop. It's up to you which types of machine you want to connect with your uh, Cisco switch. So I'm going to divide it into two different part, one for the sales department and another for HR department, right? So for example, the machines that I'm going to add in, uh, uh, in, in, in right side of our switch, these machines are belongs to the sales department, right? I'm going to connect all the machine to the selected switch. as it is entire four different virtual machines that we added these four different virtual machines are applicable for sales department means all the employees who are responsible to work for hr department uh, they must need to use these machines so you can consider two different departments are connected with the same switch and we are trying to create a vlan to segregate the network for both the department this is our agenda okay Everything is okay. I'm just going to open our switch configuration page. This is the switch configuration page. Go to the CLI and it's look like this. I'm just going to maximize the page and we are able to find switch is the kind of like as a, we are on page of switch configuration mode. You have to execute the command of EN as per the name suggests. The EN means uh, you want to enable the switch and it will redirect you on the page of uh, has. This is a kind of root uh, uh, prompt, right? So we are on root prompt. Execute another command conf space minus t. This is the configuration page. And first of all, I'm just going to change the name of our switch. So I wanted to change the switch name. 
for this particular task you need to execute the command of host name and in, then space type the name of uh, uh, your switch so i wanted to proceed with name of uh, demo switch demo vlan right so we successfully changed the name of our switch with name of demo vlan and if you want to configure the password so you just need to execute enable enable password space the password that you want to configure so we have a two different method to configure the password one is password and another is secret so secret is basically in corporate format but our agenda to understand about the concept of uh, vlan so that's why i'm just going to configure simple password and then proceed to configure our vlan so very basic steps required to create any kind of vlan we just need to type vlan space number number in the sense like as a you must need to provide the number of your VLAN between 1 to 4999, right? This is the limit of our Cisco switch. So I wanted to create first VLAN with name of VLAN 2 and then name of VLAN I wanted to provide HR. VLAN 2 is the ID of our, 2 is the ID of our VLAN which is a, uh, dedicated for the HR department. As it is, I'm going to create another VLAN with name of VLAN 4 and name for vlan 4 will be sales all right we successfully created two different vlan in our cisco switch you want to verify that your vlan is created successfully or not just go back to the configuration page right not configuration root page over a root page you need to execute the command of so vlan brief right so vlan brief and it will give you the complete information about the vlan that you just created we are able to find vlan status of your vlan and number of ports which are available and associated with your vlan hr vlan and sales vlan two different vlans are available and if we talk about the id of vlan hr department 2 and sales department 4 both are active port but we haven't assigned any kind of uh, first ethernet port to these uh, vlans like as a f0 by 1 2 f0 by 24 means the total number of ports are available in our switch approximately 24 right so we are responsible we are responsible to manage the these port and i wanted to assign the port to the hr department and sales department so how we can do that go back and execute the command of conf t under the conf t you need to execute command interface fast ethernet the port that you want to associate the port that you want to allow for the specific vlan so we have a two different way to assign the port one manually like as a two different port you want to allow for hr department so you can add both the ports manually if you want to attach uh, add uh, 20 ports or 10 ports for uh, hr department or sales department so we have option to add multiple ports at the same time by using the range command. So internet uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 like I wanted to add F0 by 1. This port I wanted to allow for the HR department right. So once you execute this command you need to execute another command switch port mode access right. This is the command that you need to execute and after that again need to execute switch port access vlan which one i wanted to assign it for the vlan 2 means hr department now our port number f0 by 1 is dedicated for the hr department or you can say that vlan 2 i wanted to add multiple port like from port number f0 by 2 to f12 so these ports I wanted to add uh, by si using single command. So for this particular task, you need to execute the command of interface space range space fast ethernet 0 by 2 to 12, right? I wanted to add port from the F by uh, 0 by 2 to 12 and hit enter. We successfully added 12 different ports, 11 different ports for and now again you, you need to execute the command switch port mode access 
VLAN just need to execute the command of uh, switch port mode access and then again command switch port access VLAN 2. We successfully added 12 ports for sales HR department. Same 12 ports I am just going to add for the sales department. INT, then range, then fast ethernet. 0 by 13 to 24 the remaining ports I wanted to allow for the sales department again execute switch port mode access hit enter then switch port access VLAN 4 we successfully added your VLAN is ready to use back to the main page means the root account page and execute the command of so VLAN brief. We are able to find HR department contain 0 uh, first Ethernet 0 by 1 to 12 and sales department contain 13 0 by 13 to 24. We successfully allow 12 ports for HR department and 12 ports for the sales department. Do one thing. Let me give you one live practical. This port I wanted to add for the 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the entire uh, uh, you can say that the left panel, the machines which are connected in left panel are uh, associated with F1, F2, sorry F3, F4 and F5. I am just going to add right side machines. Let me add with the 14. Second machine I am going to add with the 15. And this machine will connect with 16 and also 17 means the right side the machines which are available in right side all are belongs to the sales department let me configure manual ip address desktop ip configuration i wanted to proceed with the manual 192.168.1.20 right the 20 series ip contained by sales department 20 then 21 this machine contain 21 192.168.1.21 I don't want to provide any kind of DNS and gateway desktop and 192.168.1.22 and let me provide 192.168.1.22 Okay, which is already available 192.168.1.24. We successfully assigned the IP address for sales department based machine. And as it is, let me configure the IP address for uh, HR department 192.168.1.2. This is the IP address for HR department PC1. Second machine, same. Let me configure the another IP address. 192.168.1.3 try to make communication so I wanted to ping this machine right the machine which is available in sales department HR department I wanted to communicate with the sales department 192.168.1.21 we are not able to ping com communicate to each other right let me check with another computer ping space 192.168.1.2 we are able to communicate because the HR HR able to communicate HR and sales and sales to HR both are not able to make communication between each other is all right if you want to check the data communication let me try to transfer data between each other I don't think we are able to like as uh, the transfer data from one machine to another machine
because both are not communicated to each other so you are not authorized to transfer the data as well all right guys this is the all information about the vlan i hope you guys are okay with this particular practical try to install cisco packet tracer on your on computer and perform the task for now that's it we'll connect uh, soon with another class and discuss more about the ccn routing and switching thank you guys take care bye bye do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys